Our next story begins in the year 1986. I'm sure you are aware of what happened in Chernobyl that year. And for those who are not, a nuclear reactor exploded at the Chernobyl power plant that year. The world's worst nuclear accident. The blast released cancer-causing radiation. In total, around 200,000 people are believed to have been relocated because of the accident. It's been over three decades, but the repercussions continue to be felt. How exactly, you ask? Let me first give you some context here. Following the tragedy, the area has remained abandoned. Basically, the setting up of the Chernobyl Exclusion Zone, or CEZ, meant that people were prevented from getting into the area where the radiation still poses a cancer risk. But while there are no humans there, animals like wolves roam the area. In the year 2014, something interesting happened. A team of researchers visited the Chernobyl exclusion zone. You know what they did? They placed radio collars on the wolves there. And why exactly did they do that? So that they were able to determine how much radiation the wolves are exposed to and where they are. Not just that, blood samples were also taken. Basically to figure out how the wolves are responding to cancer-causing radiation. You know what they found? The amount of radiation that these wolves are exposed to every day for their entire lives is more than six times the legal safety limit for a human being. More than six times. Let that sink in. Just a reminder, the nuclear disaster took place close to 40 years ago and its impact is still being felt. An evolutionary biologist called Kara Love has been assessing how the wolves survived in spite of generations of exposure to radio, ra radioactive particles. And that's just one part of the story. You know what else was discovered? Wolves living near the Chernobyl nuclear plant might have developed cancer-resistant genes. And scientists believe that the wolves have evolved to withstand cancer-causing radiation. You heard that right. And you know what that discovery actually means? Well, the hope basically is that this study will help in detecting protective mutations, which might help in fighting cancer in human beings. Basically, as of now, we know of mutations that increase the cancer risk. But through this research, we might know of the protective mutations that can help in the battle against cancer. It was found that the immune systems of the wolves were altered to what extent basically the immune systems were similar to cancer patients undergoing radiation treatment genetic information that seemed resilient to increased cancer risk was also found essentially they found genetic changes which seemed to protect against cancer the thing is earlier as far as plants are concerned studies showed that exposure to radiation speeds up the genetic mutation rate with some species developing new chemistry which means that they become more resistant to radiation damage and also protects their DNA. And these findings now as far as the Chernobyl wolves are concerned are crucial to say the least and are a milestone in the research on the fight against cancer. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.